This is going to be chess with human bodies. This is going to be beautiful. Oh, he's down! This is what everybody wanted to see for the last two years. And now that it's finally happened, it's going to be exciting. Everybody's going to want to see this fight. They're really seeing something tonight in Roy Jones. I think the fight will elevate to be one of the greatest fights of all times. These two young fighters at this stage of their career, they need each other. And it's a big fight for both of them. And well, this will give one of them a chance to say he's the best fight in the world. I just look forward to this being the best fight of not only 1994, but maybe five, six, and seven. And assuredly, the best fight since those magic days of the Hearns and the Leonards and the Durans and the Haglers. This is what the middleweight classes have been waiting for. James Tony, Roy Jones Jr. It will be more than just a battle. Be prepared for a war. An uncivil war. On November 18th at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, two undefeated super middleweights will meet in a bout to decide the best fighter pound for pound today. And hello everyone, I'm James Brown and welcome to our preview of the James Tony Roy Jones Jr. Super Middleweight Championship fight. Now over the course of the next half hour, we will take a look at James Tony and Roy Jones Jr. and discover why this is the most eagerly awaited fight of the year. Both fighters are young, undefeated, and in their prime. Both have known for quite some time this fight was inevitable, and both are itching for November 18th. James Tony is a throwback to one of boxing's earlier eras. Those may have been simpler times, but there is nothing simple about what motivates this complex young man. James Tony, the IBF super middleweight champion, is the most active fighter in the boxing world to date. At 44-02, Tony is considered one of the meanest and toughest competitors out there. It's like I can go to any style. I can fight you. I can box you if you want to box. And I can outbox you. I can slug with you. And I can outslug you. I can do it like the complete fighter. James Tony fights anybody, anywhere, anytime. And he takes all challenges. He's the most active fighter there is. And he really is a great defensive fighter, which very few give him credit for. Just because I'm training James, James is a better fighter than Roy Jones. He's a better technician. He's fought better fighters. He's had twice the amount of fights as Roy. And he's a better all-around fighter. Well, he wasn't always perceived as one of the best. He has fought long and hard to get to where he is today. Many boxing experts are wondering how James Tony is going to handle Roy Jones Jr. on November 18th. But Tony and his camp don't think there'll be any problem, especially with the caliber of opponents Tony has faced so far in his career. They told us Michael Nunn, who was also undefeated, was, you know, going to run, 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 and he did. Then James caught him and dropped him, and that was it. James has been in with powerful guys like Barkley and Prince Charles, and he could deal with that. When we talk about skill, boxing skill and prowess, there's nobody better than Mike McCallum. He tried to beat James twice and couldn't do it. That's it! So I can't see anything that Roy Jones has to offer that we haven't seen already and conquered already. One man who has helped Tony with all his conquests is his trainer and mentor, Bill Miller. We're running out of rounds. We got your dog with his I can call when I first started training James, he probably thought I was the meanest man that ever entered his life. Uh, he had never dealt with nobody like me. Bill Miller, he's a, I love this guy. You know, when I first met him, Jackie first brought him to me, we didn't click. I said, Jack, get this guy away from me, because he made me do something I never did, work hard before. I said, Jackie, I hate this guy, get him away from me and all this. And um, after a while, I started, you know, he started, we started to click. And now we're like father and son, you know, we, we, I, talk, I can talk to him about anything, he'll do anything for me, and I'll do anything for him. He's a great teacher. He's not a trainer, he's a teacher. For November 18th, Bill Miller will teach James Tony how to deal with Roy Jones Jr. Hey! Oh, when you're training for a fight, you beat the style. Styles make fights. You beat the style. We know that Roy up front is going to 
do a lot of moving. And, but with such things, you know how to cut the ring off. And there's no such thing as a perfect fighter. You capitalize on a man's mistakes. And as long as we can keep this guy backing up, we got him. One thing nobody will have to do is motivate Tony for his fight against Jones. It's no secret that there is no love lost between these two combatants. James doesn't love any of his opponents because it's a business. He knows that that man is trying to take something away from him. But he especially hates Roy Jones. The fact that he's been so difficult and he's so arrogant just means he's going to get a worse beating. He hates Roy Jones for the fact that he's in James' way. You know, if you, you got somebody that's supposed to be great, you remove them. And the way to remove them is defeat them in the ring. I have nothing to prove against Roy. Roy has nothing to prove against me. And I just want to get this over with, shut everybody's mouth up about Roy Jones. I'm tired of hearing about it. James Tony hopes that this fight on November 18th will prove that pound for pound, he is the best fighter in the world. You know, James Tony fights with a fire that has burned inside him from a very early age. Now he has a chance to mark his place in boxing history. His quest continues on November 18th in the most awaited fight of the year. We will look at the other fighter in this bout, Roy Jones Jr., when we return. I'm definitely going to stay undefeated. I've knocked out 23 out of 26. Now it's your turn. The two greatest fighters in the world. The single biggest fight of the year. Tony versus Jones for the World Super Middleweight Championship. Friday, November 18th, live on pay-per-view. Call your local cable company to order. So that we may bring you a special preview of the James Tony Roy Jones fight happening this Friday night, Don Cherry's vintage grapevine will be delayed by half hour. So stay tuned now for our boxing preview and don't miss Danny Gallivan on the vintage grapevine at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific, right here on TSN. Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm James Brown. For Roy Jones Jr., the road to this title bout has not been a smooth one. Rather, it has been one filled with questions. What does it take for a prize fight to build? Straight left hand was spectacular. Time. Whenever each of them walk out in the street, uh, people say, well, to Jones, when are you going to fight Tony? And to Tony, when are you going to fight Jones? This is the best fight in five years. And what we look for are heavyweight fights. I don't know why in America we're all wedded to large automobiles, large houses, large-chested women, large fighters. This is the best fight there is. A difference of opinion. He got run, run off his mouth saying how he's this and how he's that. He, got, he forgot I'm the big dog in this, in this planet. And he's going he's gonna to get hurt. I feel I'm the best fighter in the world today. I feel I'm the best fighter in the world ever. And uh, I'm sure the other, the opposition feels the same. Therefore, we need to come together and find out. And finally, a place in history. It's not just a title. Uh, the IBF Super Middleweight Championship that they're fighting about, but it's that supreme accolade of who is the best fighter of this era. The story of Roy Jones Jr.'s early career has been told and retold. How he won more in losing an Olympic medal than most do in winning. But now he's getting tired of answering questions about his past performances. He's had a big man. Tired because when greatness is expected, just winning is never enough. Roy Jones Jr. had a chance on national TV to showcase his talents against Bernard Hopkins. And he failed. He gave a pedestrian effort. So they criticize him and downgrade his opponents. He's been very selective in the people that he fought. And Bernard Hopkins, perhaps the best opponent that he's faced, and he was just another fight out there. He's never faced nobody like James. But to criticize him for how he won is to miss who Roy Jones Jr. is and how he has grown. From a fighter whose career was run by a strong-willed father. My father was good enough trying to get me wherever I would have to go. It's just that, like they say, you know, most of the time, in the father and son relationships, as you start to climb up the professional ladder, the money comes in, 
Uh, money is the root, to, root of all evil. And um, things start to happen. People start to, to, tempers start to flare up about small things. But in boxing, for me to be able to give it my all, I have to have a dominating attitude. Or else how can I dominate the field? And for some reason, I think my father doesn't really understand that. But well, hopefully one day he will. Now he is a man who has taken control of his career and his own destiny. Someone of Roy Jones Jr.'s talent should have been in uh, the ring with somebody that could really teach him something, but when you knock a guy out in 46 seconds, how much do you learn? So he basically uh, said, I love my father, but I don't want him as a trainer or a manager. Roy Jones Jr. will have a forum November 18th to show his father he made the right decision. I think if there's a frustration factor built in, it comes right after the word junior. And that might say more, that little word junior, than any other word in all the hype. Because right now, he is the junior member of this twosome in experience and the junior member in exposure. And he's going to have to make himself the senior member that night. What Roy may lack in experience, he makes up for with speed. And in boxing, speed is a powerful weapon. See, the man's got speed. See, speed is power. Uh, so power, you're boxing the guy that's, that's got a lot of speed, you got to take his legs away from him. How do you take his legs away? You go to the body. So you kill the body, they're here to die. The great world champions, you know, the Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, some of those people, my eyes, all of those people had fast hands. because I know I'm the best in this business. Therefore, uh, I think the fight will elevate to be one of the greatest fights of all times. What does it take to have a great prize fight? Time, a difference of opinion, and a place in history. Roy Jones has November the 18th clearly marked on his calendar as a day he finally receives his due recognition. When we return, we'll take a look at why the press is anxious to see the fight of the year the James Tony Roy Jones Jr. matchup. Defeated, I'm definitely gonna stay undefeated. I've knocked out 23 out of 26. Now it's your turn. The two greatest fighters in the world, the single biggest fight of the year. Tony versus Jones for the World Super Middleweight Championship, Friday, November 18th, live on pay-per-view. Call your local cable company to order. Um, in the 1980s, it was not the heavyweights, but rather the lighter weights that made the most noise and provided us with the decade's most memorable fights. Hagler Hearns, Leonard Duran, and Leonard Hearns are some examples. The November 18th Super Middleweight Championship bout is a throwback, so we decided to ask the press for their thoughts. Every prize fight starts with a question, who will win? But to answer that simple question leads to a thousand other questions, like how long has this fight been brewing? I remember uh, Roy Jones uh, sitting in the first row of a post-fight press conference where McCallum uh, fought Tony. Uh, and uh, the fact that Tony and Jones got into it uh, then and there, and that has to be at least two years ago. Uh, oh! Another left, oh! another left for Tony! Oh! Another left hook! That's it! How will James Tony deal with Roy Jones's speed? He's gonna get knocked out. And he's gonna run for a couple of rounds and not catch him. Like I said, I can adapt to any style. If he's trying to box, and I'll, I'll box him. If he's trying to slug, I'll slug him. Will they box or slug? Can Roy Jones fight on the inside? I don't really care where I got to fight him at. You know, I'm going in the ring to fight in that ring. Now, wherever in that ring I have to fight is where I'm going to be at, because I'm going to win. If he dares to fight inside, he's lost because he doesn't know how to fight inside. Uh, whoever trained Roy never taught him these things. When he gets inside, he doesn't know what to do. two fighters remind you of? I looked at Tony and I said, you know, he reminds me of Jack Johnson. 
you know, the old, old barbaric type type fighting. Roy is a youngster coming from the Olympics. Uh, good speed. Remind me somewhat of Sugar Ray Robinson. Remind me somewhat of myself. Talking about the Essie Charles, who was a top middleweight, perhaps one of the best light heavyweights that ever lived. This is probably as close as you're going to get to one of those old time fights that we loved in the 50s, 40s. Robinson, LaMotta, Turpin. These men have it all. Why haven't they fought each other before this? We go out there and put our life on the line. We go out there, we, work, we go head to head, toe to toe, man on man combat. And then they don't want to pay you for it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I come out and been fighting tough opposition. I'm not going to go out there and put my life in jeopardy every day and uh, not receive the money that I'm supposed to get. It's not me. I had my contract signed in 1992. So it's, just, it's a matter of time. Now it's happening. You can't go nowhere. Can't get out of this. It wasn't my fault. It didn't happen. My, fight been, my name been on two contracts to fight this fight. So I want to make it clear that I ain't the one who been ducking and dodging nobody. And finally, the big question. Will this fight decide who is pound for pound the best? Tony is the fighter that, you know, to me, he's the fighter really to beat because, for me, because people have been for the longest time labeling him as my greatest opposition. I'm, a, I'm definitely the best fighter in the world, and Roy is trying to be, so you know, this is a fight everybody wanted to see for the last two years. And now that it's finally happened, it's going to be exciting. You know, everybody's going to want to see this fight. The beauty of boxing is that come November 18th, Roy Jones Jr. and James Tony will have their say, a chance to finally answer every question. You know, it is truly amazing that what starts out so simply, two men facing each other in the ring, sparks such a debate. Now, my question is, will the November 18th fight answer all our questions about Jones and Tony, or simply become the first edition in a classic set? When we return, we'll take a look at why everyone is so excited about the Tony Jones super middleweight bout, one that has the ingredients to be the fight of the year. I am the super middleweight champion of the world, Jones Lights Out Tony. I'm the king of the middleweights, Roy Jones Jr. I'm undefeated, but I'm definitely going to stay undefeated. I've knocked out 23 out of 26. Now it's your turn. The two greatest fighters in the world, the single biggest fight of the year. Tony versus Jones for the World Super Middleweight Championship, Friday, November 18th, live on pay-per-view. Call your local cable company to order. It's the festive season, and once again, Swiss Chalet is bringing you a special tradition. Our Welcome back to our preview of the James Tony Roy Jones Jr. Super Middleweight Championship bout. Nothing excites the boxing fan more than the prospect of two great fighters stepping into the ring against one another. With these fighters just now reaching their prime, November the 18th has become boxing's most anticipated day of the year. On November 18th, James Tony and Roy Jones Jr. will meet in the single biggest fight of the year. Why the anticipation? It's a great fight because they're two undefeated fighters, both considered to be tops in their sport. And you don't get to see a matchup like that very often where both fighters are undefeated and they're both considered to be so good that the fight's practically even. You know, some people think Roy's going to win, some people think James is going to win. That's what makes it interesting. I think this fight would be very interesting because Tony is basically a counterpuncher and uh, Roy believes in delivering punishment without receiving it. Tony is the fighter that, you know, to me, he's the fighter really to be because, for me, because people have been for the longest time labeling him as my greatest opposition. How this fight unfolds is anyone's guess, but it is the fight most boxing experts are looking forward to seeing. I do take the pace of the fight. I'll pick it up, I'll slow it down when I, when I have to. I'll make him fight and then I'll, let him, I'll counter punch him to death, punch him full of holes. Everybody assumes that Roy's going to run, uh, but that's not going to be the fight. 
It's going to be a very tactical, very good fight. It's going to be tactical. And uh, if Tony makes a mistake, he's going to pay for it. That's basically what's going to happen. In the left hand, down he goes. I can't see Roy Jones hurting him. And as long as James keeps his head and doesn't get frustrated, I, I can't see it being anything but another day at the office. The fighters, on the other hand, have a clear picture of the outcome of this one. He's going to get knocked out. He's going to run for a couple of rounds and I'll catch him. At least I can adapt to any style. If he try to box, and I'll, I'll box him. If he try to slug, I'll slug him. I'm going to the ring to fight in that ring. Now, wherever in that ring I have to fight is where I'm going to be at because I'm going to win. Whoever remains undefeated that night cannot be guaranteed an easy time of it. As a matter of fact, the combination of styles proves to make November 18th a very interesting evening. Jones has more one-punch power than James Tony. I think Jones has the knockout power of one punch. Tony's power is constant, continual, and cumulative. I think therein he's got to get close enough to make it work. Jones moves. Tony's immovable. Oh! And a bomb from Tony. And that went wobble with McCallum. And another run. Oh! Tony comes after him here at the end. I don't think that uh, Tony will be able to, to uh, deliver the punches uh, towards Roy that he does on everybody else because, you know, you can't, you can't hit what you can't see. Well, James is, is pretty fast himself, and I think his speed will give Roy Jones equal trouble, so that should kind of neutralize that. And James has the best defense in boxing, so that's going to be to his advantage. Speed and power are two elements within this matchup that need to be considered. Another is the level of competition each has faced. Tony will be by far the best fighter that Roy has uh, fought against. You know, with a lot of fighters, it, a, a fighter just adjusts to the, to the caliber of competition that he has. And uh, Tony will bring the best out of Roy. He's never faced nobody like James. Uh, it's like a lamb being led to slaughter. He's not ready for this, but he must have it because he asked for it. Oh, you have to give him what he asked for. Regardless of the outcome, the anticipation of this bout continues to grow. Some consider Tony and Jones to be the two greatest fighters in the world. So this one fight should live up to its expectations. I just think it's going to be a bull and matador fight with a lot of people throwing a lot of good punches and a lot of good defenses. This is the best fight in five years. I have no idea how this fight's going to turn out, who's going to win, uh, and, uh, but I know the skill level of both of these guys because I've seen them perform. And I, I can't wait to see this fight on November 18th. Ever since they became middleweights, Roy Jones Jr. and James Tony knew their meeting in the ring was inevitable. Over the years, they have fought other opponents, but always with an eye on each other. For Roy Jones Jr. and James Tony, November the 18th can't come soon enough, because when it's over, one of them will be recognized as the best in his generation. This is TSN.